Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. A couple of years ago, I made two videos talking about the old skills classes used to have. And while training my Aran to 200 for our training to 200 video series, I realized this class has changed a lot and there were a lot of skills that I never even mentioned in one of those two videos. So without further ado, here is Forgotten Skills Part 3. The first skill I would like to touch on has been missing for a couple of years already. This first job skill was the signature skill for all magicians around the Maple World. It, the skill was called the Magic Claw. Energy Bolt, which is now your main first job attacking skill, was usually not maxed at all. Actually, you would only put one point in it because then it would unlock Magic Claw and you would just ignore it for the rest of your journey. Magic Claw was super sexy compared to Energy Bolt. I mean, Magic Claw could hit through terrain while Energy Bolt would just stop as soon as it hits a wall or the ground or whatever. And it would hit monsters twice, that's double the fun. Back then, both skills would only hit a single target, so Magic Claw was just your go-to skill. The skill was super important to clerics as well, as Holy Arrow just didn't do that much damage against monsters with elemental resistances. So for example, if you were a bishop and you were doing your third job advancement fighting against the Grendel the really old, you would just spam Magic Claw because that at least would do some damage. Third job magicians changed a lot over the years as well. For example, mages used to job advance with level 8. They had other skills like MP recovery, which would, well, you guessed it, boost MP recovery. And you could barely max every skill. There was also this other skill called Magic Armor. And this skill, now hold on to your chairs, would increase your weapon defense by 40 points. Yeah, that's crazy. When maxed as well. So that's 20 points that you put in there and you get 40 points of armor. Crazy. I actually remember messing up one of my first characters because I thought Magic Armor was a lot better than Magic Guard. I mean, Magic Guard cost MP. That's crazy, man. I'll just put some points in Magic Armor. And then at level 50, Mushmom's uh, jump attack would like one-shot me. So yeah, I had to delete that character. That was basically that. <laughs> Speaking of first job skills, warriors also had one of their signature skills removed, Power Strike. This was a single target attack that did 260% damage at max level. Back then this would be your main attacking skill together with Slash Bash for a long while as warriors did not get any new attacks in their second job. Just thinking about it is crazy, like you have to use Slash Bash and Power Strike all the way until you reach third job if you were a warrior. Being a warrior was pretty tough back then. And Paladins actually had it worse, or well, White Knights, because 4th job didn't exist back then. Like, Paladins and White Knights did not get any new attacks in 3rd job either, just elemental buffs. So, yeah, mad respect to the Paladin players out there, that was really rough. I also remember Slash Bash actually costing HP and MP to cast, so you would actually lose HP if you were just attacking multiple monsters, which is great. Thankfully, there were some 1st job warrior skills to counter this, like Endure, I believe, which allowed you to recover uh, HP while hanging on a rope. And there was also this other HP recovery skill which would allow you to recover HP more quickly if you were standing still. Man, back then Maple was all about fighting for a bit and just waiting for your HP to recover again and standing still or sitting on a chair or something. Moving on to the second job warrior skills, another job defining skill that was removed was called Power Guard. Actually the effect of this skill is still part of the rage buff for heroes, but for pages it's now gone. I remember some maplers going wild with this skill, like you could get quite creative. They would put all their ability points in HP and then were just killing monsters with power guard instead of regular attacks. This was also the only way to defeat, for example, the extremely strong block golems in the Ludi party quest. And if I remember correctly, some crazy mad lad even defeated Zakum that way. But there is one more second job skill that I would like to touch on. Back then warriors could choose which weapon would be their main weapon. So for example Spearmans had to choose between Polearm Mastery and Booster or Spare Mastery and Booster. Those weapons had separate Mastery and Booster skills. And you could select only one of them because else you were running out of skill points. It did give each character a bit more of a unique character because sometimes you would just pick one or the other. But for example generally Swords were a lot better than Blunt weapons so most players were just going for what's strong anyway. By the way, if you are enjoying these nostalgic videos, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps. Also make sure to ring that bell notification to stay up to date when new videos go live. Now the following skills I want to mention are not really gone, but at least they work a lot different than what they used to. The beginner skill, 3 snail shells, used to cost actual snail shells to work. If you have level 1 of this skill, you would need green snail shells to throw, level 2 required blue snail shells, and level 3 required red snail shells. If you didn't have any in your inventory, you just couldn't use the skill. Also, this skill would never miss, so you could actually hit some pretty high level monsters with that skill and defeat them if you had enough shells. Or remember when summons like Shadow Partner, Arches Hawk or Priest Dead Dragon would actually cost summoning rocks to use. So you could not use those skills unless you had this item in your inventory. And every time you use this skill, one summoning rock would be consumed. 
There was a quest that would unlock a special store that sold them, but it was extremely long and tedious to complete. The same by the way was for priests that needed magic rocks to cast doom and magic door. Clerics also used to be able to spam heal which now has a cooldown. But back then this was their only mobbing skill that would also only work against undead monsters. Else it wouldn't hit anything. Uh, poor priests also had it pretty tough back then. At least they were invited into all the party quests unlike some other classes. Well, what about the beginner skill called the Legendary Spirit? Remember that one? Back then you could only scroll equipments that you could actually equip. So if you wanted to scroll something that you couldn't equip, you would have to use the Legendary Spirit skill to actually scroll it. The skill was pretty useful for people who were emerging in the free market as they could buy an item that they couldn't actually equip, scroll it and then try to resell it for a higher value. There was also another skill called the Maker which allowed Maplers to craft their own gear because Arnold Mill or Professions didn't even exist back then. Maplers would even have to equip a special item just to start crafting for whatever reason. Back then crafting gear or items required ores and sometimes some other ingredients as well. You could also craft special scrolls such as scrolls for cold protection and spikes for shoes so you wouldn't slip on the ice in Elnath. Yeah, Old Maple was pretty wild. In a recent Training 2 200 video we got Aaron to level 200 and like I mentioned earlier, I noticed that most of the skills there have changed over time. Skills like Drain and other combo skills used to actually cost combos when casting them. So for example, they would only unlock or be available if you reach a certain amount of combos and then using that skill would actually lower your total combo amount. Also Triple Swing used to look completely different to what it does now. I remember Aaron sort of doing a, a, a butt attack back then. And there was also skills like Fenrir Phantom which is completely gone right now. Or buffs like Smart Knockback which allowed you to knock back monsters with lower, while doing lower damage. And Whirlwind, though that attack is also gone. And there was also an awesome full screen attack called Tempest which could only be used when you reach 200 combos which was a lot back then. Uh, Aaron like really changed a lot over the years. But thankfully they're still pretty fun to play in my opinion. And did you know that Evan used to be the most useless guy ever? Even his brother Eric was more awesome in like every way. But Evan was lucky and he had a dragon to compensate for his lack of skills because Evan would just not do anything at all. Mir would do all the attacking. Evan has been completely revamped over the course of the 10 years this class has been released. No comboing skills, deploying dragons or any of that complicated stuff. Evan was a very straightforward class. For example in first job you had a fire circle skill and then you later got a single attack lightning skill and like job advancement 3 or so. Oh wait, I forgot to mention. Evan used to have like 10 job advancements. But Evan had more skills that are removed now such as ice breath which you would actually need to hold to charge. And pretty cool high level skills like this one which I can't find a name of. And, chain, and it's sort of a chain lightning skill but instead of lightning it was fire. Chain fire maybe something like that. But there was one thing that I really disliked about Evan back then and that was that some of their skills actually required any cash books to level up. But there was another class which had the same issue, Dual Bladers. Dual Bladers also had to purchase books with NX Cash to level up some of their super important skills. Thankfully that changed now and I'm actually training one to level 200 for our next video. I'll finish that video probably next week. But this class also have one of their signature skills removed which is called All Spirit. This skill had a chance to one shot a monster and deal a ton of damage. And there was Monster Bomb where you would stick a bomb to a monster which would then explode after a while as uh, bombs tend to do. So I'm like going all over the place right now because I found so many funny skills to talk about. For example the pirate class brawler had a pretty unique and funny skill back then called Oak Barrel. This skill would sort of work like Darkseid except you were wearing a barrel and you could walk past monsters without getting hit. <laughs> this looked ridiculous. Uh, too bad it's gone now. And did you know that the Knights of Cygnus all had these really cute little elemental summons in their first job that would attack every now and then? This is like all the way back when the max level for these classes was still level 120. I also remember that Night Walkers had an awesome skill called Poison Bomb which allowed for some pretty interesting training tactics. For example, Maplers would poison an entire map of strong monsters, change channel, poison the map and then go around all the channels. And once they were done looping around, all the monsters would have 1 HP left from the poison and you could just kill them fairly easy. Also Dawn Warriors had completely different skills back then, such as the original Power Strike and Slash Bash and in second job they had Soul Blade and also the skill that would like rain swords from the sky. Actually, Mihil still has most of the skills, so even though they're gone for this class, they aren't at least completely gone from the game. Knight of Sickness were actually a lot closer to their Explorer counterparts back then. Same went for Wind Archers and Thunder Breakers, for example, which all borrowed skills from the original Archer and Pirate classes. But I think at least now I covered most of the skills that are now either gone or working completely different. And with that, I would like to call it the day. As always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Quinn, Niels de Konek, Rama Waar, Zenny, Shen125, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Jeff Wang, 
Pinky Traveler, Felix Pons, Zapfire Gaming, Terry Kim and Jiju. If you would like to be mentioned here as well and get early access to new videos, check out the join button below this video. As always, thank you so much for watching, stay safe and happy mapling!